What's up travelers? In this video, we're going to go eat at a restaurant that opened up in 1580. So stick around and check it out. <laughs> Hello, boils and ghouls. It's your old pal, the Crypt Keeper, to remind you to join Tasting Travel on a trip around the world to visit some killer restaurants. <laughs> Strike that subscribe button down below. If you don't, you fright well be making a grave mistake. <laughs> I just stopped by Amorini Panini and Vino here in Florence, Italy. I just got a pretty awesome panini sandwich. It's called a Michelangelo, which has ham, pecorino, toscano cheese on it. I had them add some onion and tomato to it. I'm pretty excited to check this thing out. All right, so I had to go pop a squat, pull up some concrete, because <laughs> there is absolutely no seating. But yeah, check this thing out, man. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that's great. I didn't really get it much of everything there, so let's kind of turn the corner. This thing's falling apart on me. Mm. Oh yeah, that uh, that pecorino is sharp, very sharp. The tomatoes do not want anything to do with this sandwich. <laughs> Probably why I had to have them add it to it, but mm. I mean, the ham is definitely some good stuff. Mm. And they cut it so thin that you can see through it. Oh yeah, this is delicious. I paid an extra euro for the onion and the tomatoes. But if I hadn't done that, this would have only cost four euros for this sandwich. Definitely a good price. And almost all of their their sandwiches are four euros. But yeah, oh man, this is a great cheap lunch when you're in Florence. You can't go over to Antica di Venieri or whatever it's called because they have like. 500 people in line. <laughs> I, I wanted to go to the most popular sandwich place in town, but when I saw that line, I was like, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow when all the museums are closed. Definitely a good choice to get you by until, until a steak dinner at nighttime. <laughs>
sitting here at Asterio del Agnolo, which opened in 1580. <laughs> Can you even contemplate how long ago that was? Hey, that's that's crazy that we're sitting in a restaurant that opened that long ago. <laughs> Absolutely insanity. Uh, we're in Florence, Italy. We just sat down. I just ordered a fixed price menu item with La, La Costata Fiorentina. You get some bruschetta with tomato and basil on it. After that you get a half a kilogram grilled beef Florentine steak and a side of roasted potatoes and a drink. Most people get wine but I don't drink so I got a Fanta. <laughs> This should be pretty tasty. The reviews of this place are pretty up there. Hopefully it'll be here shortly because I am starving. It has been a crazy day of going to all kinds of museums. I'm ready to eat. Our first dish is here, we got the bruschetta with tomatoes and basil. Doesn't that just look absolutely delicious? Let's go ahead and throw some of this basil on top of this here, and we will dig in. Yeah, that's a good first bite. Yeah, absolutely delicious. The tomatoes here in Italy, you just you just can't go wrong, and it does. It seems to not even matter what time of year it is. The tomatoes are just amazing. Yeah, it's got quite a bit of oil on it. Just great. Something's missing though. Let's see if that changes anything. Oh yeah, that was like getting the keys to the Porsche. <laughs> the steak should be here pretty soon, so until then. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> All right, we just got this beautiful steak right here, and I couldn't be happier. <laughs> you gotta check this out. <laughs> Doesn't that about look just delicious? I mean, seriously. Wow. Just gotta dig right into it. Oh yeah. Look at that. Number one test to determine how good a steak is is how good is the gristle. And that gristle was amazing. <laughs> I am so happy right now. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh man. It's so tender. Just Brilliant. Brilliant. It's not even seasoned. It doesn't need any. It's just just the meat. That's all you need. Just the meat. Alright, let's go ahead and try one of these potatoes here. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah. That they know their way around a potato. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Uh, just, oh, yeah. That dessert case looks pretty, pretty awesome. I'm not gonna torture you and make you watch me eat this entire steak. <laughs> I should, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'll come back when we got our dessert. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. All right, so we got this uh, this chocolate ricotta cheesecake, and oh man, it looks delicious. We also got a shot of espresso, so let's go ahead and just stir the crema up into that. That's a strong espresso. Alright, let's, let's just take a nice chunk out of this. And, <laughs> nice, warm, gooey chocolatey cheese, everything that you could want out of a dessert. Ooh, that is a strong espresso. I wonder if it's going to keep me up tonight. <laughs> texture and that hits your tongue it's just like bleh, <laughs> but in a good way <laughs> if you know what I mean it's like chocolate lava <laughs> and yeah that's what you want in life is chocolate lava <laughs> and steak espresso just cuts it just perfectly too. Well if you're ever in Florence, you definitely want to come check this place out. It's not the oldest restaurant in the world. In fact it's not even in the top 10. But it's pretty old. <laughs> it's not even the oldest restaurant in Italy. But it's pretty old. Come here. <laughs> you won't be disappointed. And the prices aren't terrible either, compared to around town. Delicious. As always, eat great food.